Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. See the smile? I'm so excited. I've got this new, I say that every video, but this time I'm super, super, super excited to bring you this product that I'm gonna test out so you don't have to. Um, it is called a cool shirt and it is very, very cool. So from my understanding, this shirt is a game changer. I've tested out other cooling vests that you put um, cold packs in and they were great for short-term rides, but this is considered an active cooling system where it has, um, it's battery operated, it has a, a, a pump that pumps water through the coil, the, um, the tubing to keep the vest cold. So the pack has just arrived and I'm gonna show you really quick what's in it. And then more importantly, I'm gonna go test it out once, we, uh, once I get it figured out how it all works. And I'm actually gonna, this is my, scientific um, there's nothing scientific about this but I have a thermometer system and I'm gonna keep this on my dashboard and then this monitors the heat um, so it's I'm gonna actually velcro this inside my vest between my vest and my shirt and it'll show on the reading what the temperature actually is so I can't imagine me being in South Florida in the middle of summer where the heat index is way over 100, 110 most days, and riding midday on a Saturday afternoon ride that I've been kind of avoiding these long rides because it's so hot out. So if this could extend my riding season um, and or extend your riding season if you live in a warm climate or if you're doing a cross country trip and you're gonna be in a lot of heat. Last summer, I was in the Badlands of South Dakota and it was, it almost caused me a trip to the hospital because it was so hot. If I had this, it would have changed her. So let's see what's in the box. These people are amazing to deal with as well. And of course, if you're interested, all the links and information will be down below. And I'll put some chapter titles on the video as well. So if you want to skip ahead to, um, to I'm testing it, feel free to jump ahead. So here's the packing slip of everything that's in here. And it's so nicely packed, nicely done. Um, I'm just opening it as we go. So it's my, I'm not really sure what I'm opening as I do it, but um, this is the actual vest. So this is the main system. And they have different sizes. Uh, he recommended a size small for me. It looks really small. Let's try it on. It has the, um, <laughs> it, was it has the consistency, the material of one of those jerseys that you used to get, um, like a football jersey. Um, if you remember when you were in um, high school, they'd give um, certain, certain kids would get one color jersey, they get another, kids would get another color vest. This is what it reminds me of. Oh, this is a perfect size. So good job. This is, um, I believe, the size small for me. And what I like about it is it's small enough it can go underneath my riding jacket. So I'm not giving up at all my protection that I like. And then this is going to hook up to the system. And there is, I think, I'm guessing like, I think seven feet. I'll put the correction down below. I think there's seven feet of coil going through the front and the back to kind of keep your core very, very cold. So let's, uh, let's see what else is in here. He sent me some other goodies. Um, I guess it's the tube, more tubing to connect everything, more tubing. Um, these are specialty ice packs that um, stay cold longer. And I'll show you where those are gonna go. They're called endurance ice. And you pop them in your freezer, you put them in the bag with some icy water to keep that cold water circulating. Hopefully this all will make sense in a minute. That's a lot of tubing. Um, and there's also a, it's called a safety pull hose. So I guess if something were to happen, God forbid I'm ejected from the bike, it, this isn't gonna hold me back. It's gonna, I guess, um, have a, it's a safety harness. This has been used in the medical field a lot to keep up surgeons and stuff cold. Um, so they're not cool, so they're not sweating during surgery. And I've been told they're also used a lot for race car drivers that's like a huge huge market for them is the nascar the race car drivers the drift you know all those people that are in those hot hot cars and fully geared up and also they do for a lot of actors in movies um to keep them cool while they're in costume 
And also, of course, um, it's used a lot in the Disney World parks to keep the mascots and those uniforms and those mascot costumes cool. And then here is the battery. It's a lithium battery. I'm like, I have a huge ride coming up on Saturday and I'll take you guys along for the ride. And then this is what is going to go in this different size bags. He sent me the large bag because the bigger the bag, the longer it'll last. Cause I told him I go on rides. Sometimes I'm riding for like, you know, seven hours a day um, when I go on my long trips. So he recommended a bigger bag, but they also have smaller bag if you have less room to store. And it can go in saddlebags, it can go in the back seat. And here's, I guess this is where the battery pack goes. Here's an on off switch. I'm making a lot of assumptions till I read the directions, but. And then here is the dry bag that goes in here. So this is an insulated bag and you're gonna fill this with water and ice. This is really, wow, this is really tight. Nice, nice, nicely done. So you're going to fill this with water and ice as well as those cool packs that I just showed you. As well as the endurance ice will go in here as well to keep it. So it's going to be very heavy, um, but well worth it if it works. And then when you go to, um, like typically when you stop after a few hours and you get lunch, you dump it out and fill it up to kind of keep that water nice and cold. And he sent me an extra battery because I think the battery life, again, I'll make any corrections um, down below. But I think the battery life is good for six hours. So if he sent me another one because he knows I ride long distance. So thank you very much for that. And here is, in terms of keeping it clean, it's a maintenance additive that is recommended to every time you fill it up to put, um, it's like a couple ounces in there um, to make sure that you are keeping all the piping and stuff clean because this isn't potable water. So if you put an additive in there, it keeps it really, really nice. And that's it. I cannot wait to try this out. I will see you on my ride coming up this weekend and we're gonna test it out. I, I, I'm so excited. Hopefully it's great and, um, and you're gonna love it as much as me, but We'll test it and find out. It's, it's already working. That's crazy. The vest already feels ice cold. It runs the water through the pump system and then back out again, back into the bag. So it's constantly recirculating the water. That is crazy. I can't wait to get out and ride. I'll see you guys on the road. Okay guys, I just got off of a, uh, we're almost at Marco Island, which is a three hour ride from where I live. And I'm just testing out this cooling vest and it is awesome. So right off the bat, I can tell you, um, it brings your core temperature down a lot. So I did do um, a very scientific, like I told you, this is measuring the temperature while wearing the vest. Um, kind of very unscientific and then I have a thermometer here measuring um, so you can see what the outside temperature is versus if, if you want to actually let me see the phone Steve um, and you can see I just got off the bike um, and it is registering 103 outside sitting here and my vest is 82 so it's not you know it's not a truly scientific measure whatsoever but it gives you some idea of, it definitely brings it down. This product is not cheap, um, but you do get what you pay for. It, reason being is it's active. It's constantly cooling. It's not like other vests that have the cool packs that will melt, not melt, but like get hot and you're just kind of carrying around the packs that don't last that long. This is constant. Um, when the fan is on, when the motor is on, it's circulating the water through the vest and back through the ice water and back through the vest again. And it is definitely, definitely um, will extend my riding trip. Um, it is is really good for anyone who does any long distance riding in this disgusting summer heat that we're all having and it's everywhere. So it does, um, I didn't realize it though, but it does get you a little bit wet. The, the, it's not a wet system. 
but it does, you know, the vest is cooler than I am, so it builds up condensation. So don't wear a white shirt when you're riding. Just a little tip for me to you. Or wear a white shirt. I don't know what kind of videos you want to make. But it is um, it's definitely great. It's going to extend my ride, um, my riding season. And it is definitely, definitely worth looking into. If you have health conditions that keep you from riding in the summer heat, and I know quite a few people that will benefit from this, just um, take a look at it. The link is down below. And hopefully I'll have a coupon code that I'll also post on the screen for you for all my subscribers so they can use. And any questions, please comment down below. And ask and what was this? <laughs> okay, my final thoughts on this product, and I have taken it out quite a few times before sitting down at this table to give you my final, final reviews. So I've tried it with the cooler, I've tried it with the insulated bag. I didn't really get, I thought I'd get much longer cooling time with the cooler than I did with this, but it actually was pretty much the same. And it took me a little while to figure out what really works. The vest only works well if the water in these packs are cold, really, 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 really cold. So when you're, so, you know, what I mean by that is the water goes from the pack, circulates through all these, all this feet of, of tubing, and then goes back in there. That process, it does take away going through hair and heating up against my body. It does take away some of the coolness of the water that's going through hair. And then that water is going through hair. And after hours of riding, this tends to not be as cold as when you first started because it's actually going through the system. That being said, there are tips and tricks that I learned to make this system last longer. And the trick really is to use the least amount of water and the most amount of ice, because the ice will melt and that, that ice melting will obviously be quite cold. When I filled it up um, on the way back from my ride, it didn't last that long because I had too much warm water in there and then I poured the ice in on top of so it really didn't work. So I got a solid two and a half, three hours of cold riding with this vest. And the initial coldness that you get when you first put that jacket on, it doesn't stay that way. Your body gets used to that temperature. The temperature of the vest is still working and it's still cool, but you don't get that initial like, oh my God, it's really cold. You do have a cooling sensation, but not a freezing cold, like, oh my God, I need to put a sweatshirt on sensation that I was really kind of hoping for. It definitely works though. Um, you don't feel like that heat exhaustion when it's on. It does actually work, even though you don't feel that coldness. The temperature of the vest still remains cool, but your body is kind of acclimating to it, which is not a bad thing. So tricks to doing it is definitely use more ice and the bigger the ice blocks. Like if you can freeze some ice blocks in like plastic bags or something, instead of using, because they melt slower than using just cubed ice. Cubed ice melts very, very quickly. So the bigger the block you can put in there to keep everything cold, the better. So I was definitely, I mean, for me, it was great. I was able to get you know almost three hours of much needed relief on this. So my only problem was coming home and how to maintain it to actually be cold on the ride home. So and again, what I learned is dump all that water out and really just fill it with ice and then put the least amount of water in just to cover where the, um, the pump is that'll pump the water out. And that ice will melt quickly and kind of keep everything cool. So that's a little tip that I learned if you're looking to purchase this, that'll definitely help you out. And if you have any questions about anything um, and I'll continue to post tricks and tips as I'm using it, I might want to consider buying the shirt to have it directly against my skin and instead of 
having a, a t-shirt and then this. I think I would like to have this directly against my skin. So I might buy the t-shirt system instead of the vest. Um, so I, I like that feeling. And, um, and that's it, I'll post reviews as I get them or I'll put them in the comments of this video if I try something new with their product. They also have a really cool um, system that goes in your helmet too. So check that out online as well. And I also will be, will be testing that product as well and I'll leave some reviews to this too. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and uh, stay cool because it is crazy out there. Bye everyone, have a great day. Stay cool, ride safe, have fun. Bye everyone.